Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com. This is part three of our framework design and development video series. So in this part, we're going to talk about different models which can be used in our framework designs. So there are different kinds of models available which can be used while designing a framework and some of the most commonly used are behavioral driven development models and page object models. Well, Behavioral driven development model is something which we have exclusive playlist in our channel uh, which has a lot of videos in behavioral driven development, Gherkin's, Specflow and Visual Studio. So you can watch those things from the URL available or you can go to my channels and search for that. So it's readily available. You can you can try out that and read them, those informations from there. You can try out and read those information from there. The next model is the page object models. So each web page UI will have different objects. Objects are nothing but the UI elements to interact. So these objects are identified and written in codes like Java or C sharp codes along with their identification properties. So a page object model simply models the object within the test code this reduces the amount of duplicate cores and which means that if the UI changes the fix needs only to be applied in one place so the code looks something like this as shown below so the page object model is a very important concept in order for that to demonstrate we have two to three videos in this series exclusively for page object model design and development so we'll talk more about page object model design and develop in upcoming video series but as of now just understand that these are these are the two most commonly used models in framework design and development. So we'll use one of those models in combination. So thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.